Hi, Mom. Hi, good day. Happy Sunday. Um, hope you had a great week. Uh, this is my weekly makeup basket. Um, I had every intention of having this up for you. I even pre-recorded this video from Friday. But I reviewed the video footage and did not like the way it was going because I felt like I was rushing myself and I remember rushing through it. And I had every intention of getting Friday and was upset that never happened. So uh, I think I'm going to try just to start getting... I know Sam Sherman does this. I'm not trying to copy her. But I may start doing the Friday favorites and move it to Sunday since I'm getting this weekly makeup basket up on Sundays. So um, if you guys don't mind that, let me know in the comments below. Um, again, I'm not trying to copy Sam, but it might be easier for me just to do that. That way I'll back and back videos to get done. So let's go ahead and get started. I did move out my makeup, weekly makeup basket to another drawer because the drawer underneath my vanity was getting in the line way, so I just put it in the clear drawer where the rest of my makeup is at in the drawer system. So let's get into it. Let's start with shadows. This is one of my favorite all-time eyeshadow palettes. Probably, yeah, that and the Naked One was my first two high-end palettes. Two-Page Natural Eye Kit. Uh, the top three shadows, the matte shadows in this, is something of a go-to um, look. If I don't know what I'm going to come up with, I'll grab this or the Wet Wild Vanity Palette. And it's just a simple look. I'm going to together pretty quickly. Honey Pot is what got me to buy this, even though I can't make your pan on it. Um, I swatched it in the store a long time ago and was like, oh, i got to have that. Now, again, I did hit pan on these, but that's because I was still putting on a way too much eyeshadow. I probably still am, but I'm trying to be more careful. So I'm going to put together a look with these six shadows. I made no face of the day with this. So I highly recommend this if you can't check this out. The next is a NYX palette from the Runway Collection. It's one of my favorite palettes, too. Uh, it's called Versus, and it combines the best of both worlds for me, both purples and neutrals. Take a piece of paper to cover that big old mirror. And I'm using the somewhat sunshine or sunlight that we're getting. Anyway, I put this on today. I have this color on the lid, and instead of putting this one and this one on, like I normally do, I have this color and this color. This is in the, uh, the lid. This is on the crease. In the crease. So, love this palette. Of course, you got the neutral shade. So, definitely love that palette. Now, this one is the one I'm doing here because I grabbed it a few more times uh, because I got the Perfusion palette just went happening. But this one is an Essence quad called uh, Over the Shelf. This is another go-to quad, and I mainly use uh, this color. Let me get, okay, these three colors right here. So, I love this. Uh, I'm more inclined to use this as a eyeliner, you know, I'm using on this the lid now. You can tell I hit pan on that one. So, this is a bright little palette from Essence. I highly recommend it. You can find this at Ulta probably still. And this other one, this is mainly got a single shadow that I need in here. And this is from Elf. This color in particularly is called, and I have this on my brow. Pull it out without dropping it. This is um, truly pink. Let me show you the name of it. You can find these at most stores in the area. Sorry, a little dusty. It's just a beautiful pink color. Not coming off the true color, but it's really beautiful. And I always wear it usually with the purple shadows. Hence, so this is why it's in this quad with some other colors. So I will be using that. <laughs> Moving on the list, I did pick out my matte lipsticks. Um, I have them on my vanity. I'm trying to. I figured if I don't have them in the makeup basket drawer. I will not gravitate toward them. I mean, I mean, I do want to use them, but I'm trying to use it with some other lipsticks. So, first lipstick I have on, on this one, is called Rose Hip. It's from Milani. I think it's in the old packaging. Such a beautiful fuchsia color. And I wanted to wear this in the last makeup back a bit. I already had a fuchsia. It's so pretty. Now, I do have my lip liner. This is Essence uh, Cute Pink. Just be expecting to see this in a lot of other makeup baskets. Love it. Um, I think it's called Adriana or Chica Loves Makeup. Somebody was, I think one of them had the roulette letters in their makeup basket and reminded me to pull mine out. I wanted to wear cream brulee. I have several others. I love these, and I'm trying to wear them more when it's cooler, not when it's hot. So I wore this Friday. I'm going to wear this again. Um, I 
have that one. I have another. I pulled out the major Amoxy lipsticks. Except else, uh, glossy gloss. This is Embelly slippers. Love this. This is a great lip gloss. Um, Amoxy. This is 3119. This is Violet Shine. My favorite lipstick this is from the $1 line. I don't know if they've gone up since then. In the dome shape. I think these are $2. I just washed this in my collection and don't think I've used it. If I did, I had only worn it once. I forgot how much I love it. From NYC, it's, called, it's in number 401 Caramel. Such a pretty color. That may not be for everybody, but oh my gosh. And I put it on my lips and it was fine. Especially when I wore a lip gloss with it. I'm definitely going to be using that. I'm probably going to wear that tomorrow. Um, Tuesday, I, I ever wear my purple eyeshadows again. I will warn you for a specific reason. Um, the Essence Lip Liner Honey Bun. And then the Ulta on an one and Spice. That is in there. Um, oh, okay, for my face, I have... Of course, I'm still using my Mary Kay Time White H Fine Moisturizer. I will keep using this until it gets really, really, oh my gosh, it's too hot outside here in Texas. So, yeah, I have that one. That one's from in the combination of oily skin. Um, I have my foundation, the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. I think I did a first impression. Um, as far as doing a review on this, if I haven't, I will soon. I wore this uh, recently and it brought me off. And I'm not sure if this happened to you. I think my friend Mimi, Bella Pink, that wrote her out to you, and I was really surprised. But I do have this, and I don't have it on my face today, but I will wear it tomorrow and let you guys know if it is. Oh, boy, it's going to be a big disappointment. Now, I thought I had, at this time of the filming, had uploaded my mini Walmart haul. You will see that. I did buy some products last week. Um, wow, that container is just... Ugh. I don't like the packaging. The packaging's okay. It's just, this gets a little crappy. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous Dream One Foundation. This is a newer product also, but I did want to get some more use out of it. I have it on my face today, and so far, first initially, you'll see my product favorite. I do like this. So far. Um, let's see. For my concealers, I have pores. I'm not even trying to pronounce that. I'm an anti aging anti-wrinkle um, concealer. They had this at Sephora. I just where I bought it. I think it was $11 and I had a little bit left on my gift card. I think I gave like $8 for it. Have it on today. Um, I'm using it for mainly for under eyes. I realized I hadn't used it. And also I'm going to be using my Maybelline Mineral Power Natural Perfecting Concealer. I know a lot of people love this. It did nothing for me, but I do want to use this one up. This is in the shade Ivory. I didn't understand what the big item on it was. I also have my Elf High Definition and Dry Setting Powder, so my favorite ones. I'm not going to really got to repurchase this. I, I have them in all together at Walmart. And this is in the color Sheer. I love this. It's great. I have other, I have an Ulta concealer that reminds me of this, but it's in the specific uh, skin tone. I love this. I think this is $3. And, oh. Another dry concealer type thing, uh, Revlon Age Fine. I think I had this in last week's basket. I will continue to use that for a while. I do not like that. Okay. Okay. Moving on to some eyeball stuff. I'm really getting into this. I think it's really fun. Um, the mascara. This one I can already tell you right now. I do not like this. But it's the Milani Total Lash. Cover three women mascara. I got this last Monday also. It was four dollars. I'm trying it out. I don't like the wand on it. Let me tell you why. Because it nearly puts my silly self out. Let me tell you. The part okay, it's this part right there. I do not like that. The rest of it's fine. It's just wow. And if I'm just because I'm a clumsy person, it's just like, hmm. Okay. But I'm gonna be wearing it. Um, this is going to be the last week for this, and I'm tossing it. Their real mascara from Benefit. I should have already been done with it, but I can put that in it. I'm going to be definitely wearing that. And also my lash out. And by the way, this one I'm almost done. I mean, I could barely get any out, so I might be done with it before the end of the week. 
Um, the last shot winner Kawhi Waterproof Mascara from L'Oreal. I did buy this on Monday. So far, I'm really liking this. Um, someone told me so much today. I will like this. So far, you'll find out my Friday favorites. Love this, uh, wand. Besides the fact that I love butterflies. So, I will continue to use that. And I did mark on my calendar when I had opened these. Okay, uh, color tattoo metal. The metal collection, this is ink and pink. Of course, I'm going to have this with the purple shadows. And another color tattoo. And uh, this one's the Merely Beige. It's like the normal one. I think they still have this, but they don't. And then my Elf Eyelid Primer. I'm going to keep having this in there until I'm done with it. But I'm also using another eyelid primer. I'm almost done with it. If I kept at it this week, I probably will be done with it, but I want to try to alternate. I will alternate this with the Milani uh, Fergie Take on the Day Eyeshadow Primer. And then my eyelid <laughs> eyeliner to Essence, a long lasting eye pencil and cool chic. Well, this, um, I almost put it on today, but it went with something else. I have something else on today. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I don't like. Uh, the Rimmel London, um, the 20th, the waterproof pencil. I think I had this in last week's basket. These basket pencils will be in my basket until I'm done with them. I have it on today. Today is actually the first day I've worn this, and that's why I did put it back in there. So it's in the color black. This is the one I think that smears really easily. Really easy. And I have the next Wonder Pencil, of course. We'll still have that in white. I have Essence and Teddy. Next time I'll pencil milk, you guys know. And this one, I want you to do a liquid, and I love this one. This is LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner in Brown. I think. Yeah, the Brown Liquid Eyeliner. Liquid Eyeliner. I haven't worn it in a while, but I put it together with some of the usual looks. And of course, my Urban Decay 24 7. Pencil on zero. This one and the Rimmel one I just shared with you. I'm pretty much almost done. And I threw in this next matte eyeshadow for the shadows in case I didn't want to wear the Elf one. This is the color birthday suit. Yeah, I'm hitting a major pan on it. So, anywho. I'll put that in the door later. Okay. Almost done for the face. Um. Some of these were in last week's basket, and the reason why I want to give them some more love is because I probably only worn them once, and I felt like I kind of cheated myself on that. So, we're going to do it again. Tart Candy, uh, Ace Bronzer, and Tiki. That will be that for the highlight. Um, and this one, you'll find out. I don't know if I, meant, I mentioned it somewhere that I actually did like the way it looked. It wants the Color Wheel Mosaic one. This isn't a peach one. I only wore it, I think, at least once or twice. And then this is the one I have on today, the Physicians Formula Middle Wear Calyx Free Mineral Blush and Rosy Glow. I bought this at the 75% off sale at CVS. It's got like a little highlighter in it. There you go. Um, I also have, in order to give you know, another highlighter, the Essence uh, and Adorable. These uh, blushes are excellent. I'm telling you, these are one of my favorite blushes. I wish they made them a little bit bigger, but hey, there you go. It's a beautiful highlight. Okay, now when I'm doing my powders, oh wait, one more bronzer. Let me go on to my bronzers and another blush. My Hot Mama from the Bomb Hot, okay, let me say this right, the Bomb Hot Mama. I just have a sample of this. I had another one, but I gave it to another friend of mine. Another friend of mine had sent this to me. I just figured I'm going to do two of them. Uh, and in the bronzers, I'm wearing my two favorites, the NUA one that my friend Heather sent me, and then, of course, the NYC. It's funny. Okay, now, how I'm uh, taking care of, and I may have another face powder to this, I don't know, is when I set these in my drawer, like, today I wore my LA colors, I put it towards the back, and I, that way I remember to, the next day to grab this one, which will be a CoverGirl one, and I wore this yesterday, and last two days I'm wearing this one. It's the CoverGirl pressed powder and the clean one. <laughs> CoverGirl clean all oil control pressed uh, powder. I don't really have oily skin, so if you don't oily skin, I would highly recommend you try this. It's a great powder. I'm in the color 5 I think it's a little white for me right now, but whatever. 
And this belly color is the same dude. I think I have another one of these. Anyway, that is my makeup bath of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to review on any of these products, and I'll see you in my next video. Again, thanks guys for watching.